Hello fishermen! Today's Kunk Again fishing team is at Rockport, Port Aransas area, weight fishing for trout and black drum. We did catch our limit of black drum and meet old timer Kirk George on the water who was struggling to catch fish. But hats off to him for being out there and enjoying the outdoors. We had a great conversation, what a funny perspective. This is the video of the conversation we had. He covered fishing in the old days, how you can't beat a Vietnamese fisherman, ruining fish, and crazy Houston and Austinites. I promised him to help him learn the new ways of fishing, and he shows up the next day and gets into some fish. The video link to the next day's video is at the end of this conversation. It is people you meet on the water like this that makes life so fun and interesting. Thank you for watching and enjoy the video. There you go. My limit of black drum, one trout. Yeah, see that right there? Gee, what a there. That's a mess. Me feel no, no, no. You should feel good because you're out here. So how long, <laughs> how many days have you been fishing out here? Amen to that, brother. Yeah, you're, you're right. Uh, Catch you two. made me mad, man. I've been sitting here for an hour. Nothing. You walk down. <laughs> and I believe it was your second cast you pulling out the... <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said hey, he must be a fly fisherman. I've seen them fly fishermen. Yeah, they do that. I'm not a fly fisherman. Oh, right? them fly fishermen, they can pull a fish out of a bucket of water. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, I, I don't feel so bad now. You Vietnamese, you, you that's born in you guys' blood. Y'all think fish, y'all. You think like a fish. <laughs> you know, no way, no, there's no way you can outfish a Vietnamese. You can't do it. I love what you just said. You're going to make my video. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make my video. That's the funniest thing anybody ever told me. Those Vietnamese women, they make those men work. Hell yeah. You don't get to goof off. Right. But we'd go take my shrimp boat and we'd go out to go up and play, catch a kingfish, sell fish. Oh yeah. Well, she'd be at the dock every day, sir. Where well, the hell my fish? Yeah. I want one of those. Well, we're nice. We're gentlemen. We brought brought her in. I said, we're going to bring you some fish tomorrow. Be here at 3 o'clock. Okay. And she was there. And uh, we had all those keen fish and everything. Gentlemen that we are. Yes. She started filleting them out. She said, no, 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 no. She started crying. Yeah. You're wasting. Yeah. She started crying. <laughs> well, what's the matter, Flower? You waste all fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny story. You waste all fish. Yes. And she didn't want that. So we just, <laughs> just give it to me is what she wants. <laughs> Less work for you, tastes better for her, right? Yeah. Oh, what a great and story. My husband wanted to go with us so bad. He wanted to go with us to catch fish. She wouldn't let him. Ah. You work. You work at home, you right? You go work. You go work. Let him catch fish. You're a professional. <laughs> so how often do you fish? Well, I fished all my life. I fished. I've been here since since the fifties. Oh, so you were here when all the redfish were. You can walk on redfish. I heard they were everywhere. Okay. Uh, okay. You can go down Con Brown Harbor and just fish off the bank, fill up wash tubs. Yeah. When they come through, there's a school of them, and everybody's catching them. And then, 15 minutes later, they'll turn back around. They'll come back through. And, uh, well, they ought to come here, have not they? Well, I'm going to talk to them about that. The fish? Yeah. <laughs> I I do a lot of fish talking. <laughs> and, uh, but you got the right bait for redfish, though. The rudest people in the world live in Austin. No, I'm from Austin. I'm not rude. Um, it's, 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 <laughs> I've been there 30 years. It's worse. Yeah, it's worse in Houston. Now, Houston oh, guy. Yes, it's always been worse in Houston. Yeah. In Houston, those guys, they'll run you over and then tell you you're wrong. They'll run you over and shoot you, but in Austin, they'll run you over and shoot you, then chop you up. <laughs> but you won't care by then. <laughs> I don't like the first part. I'll tell you, you get out here tomorrow, 
Sit right next to me over there. You can't get here early enough to get over there, Tim. Huh? You can't get here early enough to get over there. What do you mean? Them guys all, when I come over here at 8.30 this morning, you, it's like parking at a HEB parking lot. <laughs> well, I'm out here. Food parking lot. I'm out here at 6 o'clock. If, if I want to hit that spot, you're right. You got to be out here. Well, it's not even daylight at 6 yeah, o'clock. Right. I, I run with my have license. I hard enough time staying on the water in the daytime, let alone coming out here at night. <laughs> well, I got a GPS. I just follow the I follow the tracks. Uh, but yeah, you're right. That's where you young fellows got it over, us old timers. We, we came not educated enough to get a GPS. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a challenge, but I tell you what. I wouldn't take it for, even if I went out and got skunked, I'd still well, be okay with it. I'll tell you one thing, for an old Austinite, you're one hell of a fisherman, I'll tell you that. I want to congratulate you, man. Well, thank you. Well, I'll be out here tomorrow. I'll save you a spot. Very Thanks for good, the funny Timmy. story. Let me, let me recognize your boat. I can't see it. The Blue Wave with a T-top. How many Blue Waves with a T-top around here? Not with a Vietnamese on it. Then look for a guy who looks normal. <laughs> well, that, that would have to happen. Not too many people look normal anymore. <laughs> uh, well, your wife must say that all I sure will, Mr. George. <laughs>